As the sun rises in Purcell, Oklahoma, breakfast awaits at the Railhead Diner. Normally dozens drive across the James Nance Memorial Bridge from neighboring Lexington to grab a bite here. We should be packed out by now, standing room only. But there's no bridge traffic and now just a fraction of the customers. So we've had to let go of people um, and we're kind of just picking up the slack and doing it as best we can. The state shut down the bridge over the Canadian River in January because of hundreds of structural problems. It will remain closed until June, leaving shop owners like Kara King scrambling to readjust. Our rent didn't go down because our sales went down and our utilities didn't go down because our sales were down. The drive between the towns is no longer a straight shot. It now involves at least a 45-minute detour. It's 10.15 local. Let's see if I can get there by 11. From Purcell, it's a drive north 10 miles and then east and then back down south to Lexington. We went from having 22,000 cars a day to drive east and west on Highway 39 to... The Lexington city manager says the bridge shutdown has dried up tax revenues on his side as well. It's kind of like having a water well and it going dry. You don't realize how badly you need it until it's not there. Many elderly with fixed incomes get subsidized meals across the river, so Lexington had to open up a kitchen. It's free. I volunteered. It serves 100 people a day, food paid for by state emergency funds. As the crow flies, it's no more than 4,000 feet between Lexington and Purcell, a distance some frustrated residents are willing to bridge by foot. John Moon Associated Press, Lexington, Oklahoma.